Welcome to, well, to what? Is this tutorial number 16? It is number 16, but it's not a tutorial. But whatever, I'm going to introduce the changes which brings version 6 of Crusher X. Those of you who don't know Crusher X at all yet should start watching tutorials 1 to at least 10 first. Alright, the GUI. The most obvious thing you'll probably notice first is the vapor modulation overview. With that, the guessing and the switching to and fro of the previous version ends, as you see at once which modulations are going on, when they do take place, which frequency they are adjusted to and which waveform they have. The generators are represented by the grey and blue bars, the blue ones showing the number of activated generators. The adjusted offset is depicted by the length of the light grey and light blue bars. The modulation is shown by the way these light grey and light blue bars change. To gain the space for this overview section of the GUI, the GUI has got a bit larger than that of its predecessor and the layout has changed. The vapor functions like safe and load, the grain window type and so on have gone up to the left of the grain view. The quantize functions are now under these vapor functions to the left of the physical model field. The trigger functions have gone one floor down above the left border of the keyboard. The random functionality has changed quite a lot, not only its place in the layout. We find it up on top of the GUI as a part of the vapor modulations menus now. A similar fate has come, up, come, uh, come upon the cloud modulation. It is called global now and has moved a bit to the right and partly into a menu of the vapor modulations. The sync to host button has gone. We find this function as a parameter with the diverse modes of modulations instead. And there is something else concerning windows and layout that has changed. The spline window is now fixed to the place of the vapor modulation overview. You cannot push it around and you cannot change its size either. But being sufficiently big, that doesn't seem a problem to me. And something else concerning the spline window. The drive button to open the spline window without choosing it as a modulation source is now called Edit Overdrive. Alright, let me introduce the extended and changed functionality of version 6 then. There are going to be tutorials with more detailed information and in-deep experiments concerning the new functions, but today's video is meant as a short overview about what is new and is not going to dive deep into details therefore. One of my favorites is the possibility to spread modulations across the generators. This, together with the extended sweep mode, which I'm going to talk about a bit later, offers a whole bunch of options for intervention to a composer of granular pieces, 
I name just as a keyword parameter clouds and their algorithmic manipulation. Well, just as a keyword. Another completely new function is called Diffuse. I'll demonstrate it with the water sound I have got from a recording of one of the participants in my project uh, The Sound of the Waters of the World. Thank you, Felix. An interesting function, but it should wear a button reading Handle with care. Well, sweep then. There are three different sweep modes now, linear, spline and steps. With these new modes you can determine the method, how the sweep effect, the sweep modulation develops during a grain. Let me demonstrate this with longer grains at first. I'll use the step mode, a new mode, which is available with all modulations now. And now with shorter grains. The mode linear is the one which is most similar to the sweep method of the old version of Crusher X, but whereas in the old version the sweep process let the frequency oscillate around the basic frequency of the grain, the new sweep mode linear lets it go linearly up to a higher frequency or linearly down to a lower one. And at least a short demonstration of the difference between using the step mode as a modulation mode and using the step mode as a mode how the grain is swept. More about that and in more details in a later video.
the two face sliders have been replaced by one big bipolar face slider now. We will have to look at uh, how this slider works and what is uh, what its uh, relation is to the new spread function uh, in a detailed video later as well. Let's have a quick look at the new modulation modes. And of course there is going to be an in-depth video only about these new modes with a bunch of explanations and examples later. Please go to my website www.rowfilm-media.net and or to our forum, the Deep Sound Divers Coffee House, to stay up to date. We have already seen the mode steps. So what about random each grain and the random sample and hold modes? Random each grain first. I'm going to show it with different grain lengths. Random sample and hold then, I compare with random each grain. The new pitch follow functions set the amount of modulation dependent on the pitch of the sound which reaches Crusher X. A short example with a simple sine wave. Or the same with sweep. Well, what's left? Yes, the auto tune functionality, of course. Only a short demonstration of the force to bass key function today. As this video is meant to give you a quick overview about what the new version 6 of Crusher X has in store for us, more and differently uh, from its predecessor, more details will be delivered in other in next videos. 
each of the quickly presented new functions or groups of functions deserve a, a detailed uh, tutorial of its own and will get it step by step. Thank you for watching. There is a website of mine at www.rofilm-media.net where you will find more information about uh, this series of tutorials. You will fi find uh, also an overview about all things I'm currently working on there, including all four of my YouTube channels. There is also a forum there, the Deep Sound Divers Coffee House, where you can discuss my videos or all matters around and concerning my videos. This new version of the Deep Sound Divers Coffee House provides a new service as well. You can now jump directly to that point in the special video you want to watch. That gives you, combined with the general search functions of the forum, a quite powerful and efficient way of searching for certain matters in the tutorials. The Deep Sound Divers Coffee House is getting more and more a comprehensive video manual of the discussed VSDs and sins and matters that way. Please consider liking, sharing and subscribing and if you really like this video please think about donating a little to help me making more videos like this one. Have a great day and a good time, Rolf.